Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Again, you can tell I'm at my desk. I am not at my house. I have figured out that sometimes it's easier for me to record here at school. Okay, so let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Yes, yesterday was Monday. So if yesterday was Monday, then today is what? If yesterday was Monday, then today is Tuesday. Yeah, today is Tuesday. So if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow is Wednesday. So today is Tuesday. Month is October. What number? When there's a two and a zero next to each other in that order. That makes the number 20. So today is Tuesday, October 20th, and the year is 2020. So today is 10, 20, 20, 20. All right. What season are we in? It's fall. Yeah, we're in the season of fall. And although it doesn't really feel like fall just yet, we are hopefully in the next couple days going to get some more fall-ish weather, at least cooling down. Hopefully. What is the weather like today? You can look outside your windows. Ms. Jessica looks outside her windows. Remember on the classroom, I've got windows on both sides, so I don't have to stand up to look outside my windows, but you might have to stand up to look outside yours. When I look outside my windows, I see that it's sunny outside today. It's sunny. And it's going to be kind of warm. 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 Not too, too hot, but just warm in the 80s, I think. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. respectful of yourself and others. We Remember, we respect all people, and that includes yourself because you are a person. We respect people's choices, personal space, personal property, opinions, differences, ability levels. We respect all aspects of all people. One great way to show respect is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're angry, even if you're upset. Um, there are other ways to communicate how we're feeling. We can use our words, our device, our sign language. Follow the directions of all your teachers. Remember, this one can be a challenge because you're not seeing your teachers regularly like you used to. But there's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. Remember, we need to make good choices and be appropriate with our language and our tone of voice, even if we're angry. So we need to take a deep breath and communicate using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. People aren't going to want to listen to us if we're using inappropriate words or we're yelling at them. Always do your best. Yes, always.
supposed to do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right, remember, this is our communication bill of rights. We are adults, we are people, and we have rights. And some of those rights pertain to our communication, as shown in those pictures. There are 15 communication rights. Yesterday, we went over three. Today, we're going to do three more. Three and three more is six. One, two, three, five, six. All right. I have the right to be talked to and not about. You're a person, and you have the right for the people in your life to talk to you, not just about you. You should be included in those conversations. Ah, so those conversations need to be adapted to how you best communicate. I have the right to be a part of my community. You're a person, and you have the right to be a part of the community that you are within. This one can be a challenge right now because our communities aren't really able to be together. We're not able to see each other the way that we normally would. Your school community, maybe you have a church community or other activities that you engage in, they're not the same right now. So we have to try to find other ways to engage with members of our community. Maybe we're doing Zoom meetings or FaceTime or phone calls or text messages because we have to adapt and cope. I have the right to say what I think. Your person and your opinions matter. What you think about things matters. So you have the right to say what you think. But as adults and as people, we also have the responsibility to still try to be appropriate with the people around us. So sometimes, we have to control what we say about what we think. Yeah, because we don't necessarily want to hurt anybody around us either. All right. How are you feeling today? Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hot? Are you confused? Are you sick? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you frustrated or are you thirsty? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way that you're feeling that isn't listed, you can tell somebody that as well. Good job. All right. How am I feeling today? I think these ones kind of go hand in hand. I'm tired, but I have a little bit of a headache. So I need to make sure that I'm taking care of myself. Resting, even though I got good sleep last night, but still. Resting, um, drinking lots of water, making sure I'm taking care of myself. I'm a little sad because I miss you all so very, very much. And we're already almost through October and I still haven't seen you. And that makes me sad. It makes me sad about all the things we're missing out on, like picture day. And, sorry, picture day and um, our field trip and all sorts of stuff. But even though I'm sad because I miss you and I'm sad about all the things that we're missing out on, I have a little bit of a headache today and I'm tired. When I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, the fact that hopefully someday soon we will be back together um, and making up for all of our lost time. That makes me really, really happy. Thinking about all of you makes me happy. It's true. Okay, and with that, meeting is all done. I'm going to do a reading video today. Uh, please remember that on Tuesday, today, October 20th, there is no Zoom meeting. Jessica had a conflicting appointment, and I'm sorry about that. But there will be more videos and another Zoom call tomorrow. So I hope you have a good day today, friends, a beautiful Tuesday, and I will see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.